Hello there, my beautiful Aries friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you, everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome, my friends. My name is Rhea, and I do these readings every week. All right, Aries, this is your energy check-in reading, and what I'm going to do for you today is open your reading with an Enchanted Forest Oracle card. Then I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message Spirit has for you, followed by a bonus card from the Spirit Animals Oracle deck, and then I'm going to close off with an angel number. So those of you that are watching today, if you've been seeing signs through animals or insects, any kind of repeating numbers or angel numbers, this is all going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So stay tuned for all of this, my beautiful friends. Before we begin, I just wanted to bring something to all of your attention here. We got tons and tons of scammers out there. I've been seeing them in the comment section of my videos. I've been seeing them on Facebook. I've been seeing them everywhere. So I want you to be very careful. I only have two social media accounts. One is my YouTube channel here. It's verified and has a check mark. And the other one is on Instagram, which is also verified with a blue check mark. If you're finding yourselves being in contact with someone that is posting as myself with the cat symbol especially on Facebook I am NOT on Facebook everyone be careful out there because these scammers are posing as lots of different people out there not just me but I feel this is ramping up so you just want to be extra careful just remember I have two accounts I will never reach out to you for a personal reading if you find yourselves uh, receiving messages from someone that is posing as me on these social media platforms, it is not me. And again, I'm gonna repeat this one more time, I'm only on YouTube and Instagram, both verified accounts with check marks, okay? So stay safe out there, everyone. All right, Aries, let's call in spirit and open up your reading. See what it is that spirit would like you to hear today. So we are getting for you one of a kind. You, my friends, are one of a kind. If you're seeing a bear, this is your confirmation today. If you haven't seen one, you're seeing one now on your screen. So the message here is from the moment you emerged into this world, you've had extraordinary talents. You understand starlight, animal voices, and all things magical. So Aries, is this true? Are you one of a kind? I feel some of you might have had some experiences in your childhood. I feel this is a baby bear. And perhaps uh, since you were a young child, you've had some sort of unique gifts where you understand starlight, you're able to understand animal voices. Um, I feel you have an understanding and knowing of the world. And perhaps um, you weren't able to make sense of it when you were younger, but you definitely know um, what this is now for you. So you're meant to actually use that gift. All right, so Aries, we've got the five of wands coming in. Some of you might be going through a temporary patch of turbulence. And this could be through communication and just around the people in your life. So this is what you wanna watch out for. Remember, we are still in Mercury retrograde, everyone. And this energy is giving me the sense of Mercury retrograde playing bits and pieces of parts of little disturbance in your life here. So just be mindful of this energy and not to give it your reaction. Okay, so the five of wands to start. We have the two of pentacles. So look at this. So that patch of energy that you're going through, it's because you're elevating. And through that elevation, it's like an airplane, right? When we move higher up through that airplane, we hit a patch of clouds and then there's turbulence and that can be scary for some of us. I definitely get scared when I'm in a plane and I experience turbulence. So a patch of turbulence, this too shall pass. Let's focus on the prize here. Let's focus on our goals, our dreams, our desires. Know that you're reaching a, a newer level, a higher frequency, a higher vibration and everything right now in the planet in the planetary alignments with everything that is going on here for you, Aries, I just feel there's an elevation um, in your spiritual growth. And because of this, 
this understanding and knowing that you have, it's going to really play a huge role in the success of your life. And I feel this month of August is going to be very important for you really leveling up in some way, in some part in your life. Okay, so that's the two of pentacles and we have the hangman. So this feels like maybe you're in a world that is upside down or feel things are feeling like they're upside down. Maybe things aren't making sense. Perhaps you're confused or there's confusion around you. This is where spirit wants you to ground your energy, breathe through the things that you're going through and the, the things that you're experiencing because there's some sort of a picture that is being painted for you, but it's not in the way that you're thinking it to be or visualizing it to be, it's going to make sense in a completely different way. So this is where spirit is asking you to look through a different perspective, to look at the situation with an open mind. Okay. So that's the hangman card. Now this is a major arcana card. So this energy is going to be prominent in some of your lives. This usually tends to be in the background, this energy. So you might feel it intensely or you might feel it subtly. I also want you to use your own intuition with my reading. So whatever you see my cards popping up on screen, I want you to try and interpret them using your own intuition. Not only will this strengthen your intuition, but you will also receive your own messages. So look at that. What a powerful uh, spread here for you today. So there's a lot that is going on. Some of you are thrown out of your comfort zone at this time or dealing with something that might not feel good, right? It feels like some of you may be feeling tested even. This is where spirit wants you to tap into your inner strength and implement practices that keep you grounded Aries. So before I begin, I just wanted to mention that we all live a different life experience. These cards are going to present themselves differently in each of our lives. This is also a general reading for you today. So those of you that are watching, if my reading isn't resonating for you, please leave it behind, but also check out your moon rising and Venus signs. All right. So just a lot of powerful energies. What's happening here is you are leveling up and you are upgrading in your life Aries. This is the energy that has come in and it's lifting you up to that new level. Okay. That's the two of pentacles. They're wanting you to be resourceful here. If there's things that you need, it's time for you to acquire them. Don't be afraid to reach out and ask for help, ask for advice, these kinds of things, right? But again, be watchful of the energies that you are surrounded with right now. I feel some of you um, are really good at telling and sensing and just being aware of other people's energies. You're really good at people reading here, Aries. I feel that you have this sense, you have this knowing, uh, knowing. I feel like somebody's annoying you right now. The word annoying keeps coming out. It keeps coming into my mind here. So annoying. Maybe there's somebody annoying you. Maybe you're going through an annoying situation, right? Whatever this is for you, I feel spirit is asking you to implement some sort of a daily practice, which you do every single day here, Aries, in order to calm yourself. This could be breathing exercises. I feel especially because I'm getting a hot headed, uh, the temperament is a little bit off here. And again, we are all moving through this energy of Mercury retrograde. It's affecting all of us differently, right? So sometimes when we get into a heated argument with somebody, um, being aware that we're in this energy, just remember that maybe this person has gone through something that you're not aware of and they're just reacting to the energy. So this is where we want to remain in our calm, cool state, observe, listen more rather than react, right? And if you feel that you're wanting to give a reaction because your emotions are bubbling over or there's something happening within you and you're wanting to do that, um, breathe through this and just count to like 90 seconds and release that energy. Feel the emotions. They're coming up because you're meant to feel them, but don't hold on to them. Don't react to them. Just observe them as you're feeling them. That's really hard to do. I've tried this, right? And again, the breathing exercise helps because you're now counting to 90, right? And just, that's just a distraction in itself or let, to allow that uh, emotion to pass. And this takes practice. It's not easy at first, right? You're going to get really good at this and it's going, going to become second nature for you, Aries, if you're able to practice this and really ground your energy. But what I'm getting here is disturbances or even interferences in your work situation, maybe in your family with your spouse. I just feel like sometimes with this Mercury retrograde energy, we can feel a lot of spurts of emotions, things that rise up, things that are said that were maybe pent up. These kind of things are like shooting out, like I'm getting a bunch of shooting out energies and um, what I'm getting are confirmations coming in for you that you're actually in this energy. So spirit is actually trying to get your attention 
to let you know that, okay, this is just the energy out there. Let's, let's come from a more calmer state. Let's keep ourselves in our own vibration and not match that shaky energy. Um, so they're wanting you to be flexible and adaptable here. Um, and they're saying that you have all the tools you need in order to get through whatever this is for you. So what I'm getting here, it doesn't have to be a disturbance with people. This could be delays and things um, that are going on with travel. We experience a lot of miscommunication um, through digital devices, emails, cell phones, these kinds of things, things happening in air. We have software issues, computers, electricity, weather, like everything, right? It just goes a little bit haywire. So practice patience, everyone. Let's breathe through this energy. Remember, you're not the only one going through it. Everyone is experiencing it in some way. And uh, I feel that if you're able to really keep yourself centered and uh, regulated, you're going to be able to move through this. And it's not going to really have any kind of interference in your life. Even though things are going to try to interfere, you're going to make sure that you move through it in a more steadier pace, okay? Because this can, I, I always find that this is poking the bear energy. There's something like trying to poke you here. And it just wants a rile, a reaction. It's kind of like a ping pong ball, right? It moves around like a ping pong ball, this energy of Mercury retrograde. Also, um, I'm just going on with your, with the five of wands, everyone. They're wanting you to be creative. Instead of um, reacting, channel this energy, this whatever this energy is that's wanting to, wanting to rile up into something productive. Hitting the gym if you're angry, painting something if you're sad or someone's, you know, it's channel it in a different way here, everyone. Those of you that are seeing the number fives, twos, um, even the number 12, five, two, or 12s. This is coming in as confirmation that there's something in this reading for you today. And if you're seeing the number five, two, one, two in that sequence, again, a confirmation for you. So the two of pentacles, we've got this beautiful um, collaboration of energies happening here. And what I'm getting is someone learning how to really manage their life through balance. I feel that you're doing this already, Aries. And you know, there's a little bit of turbulence here, but if you stay in this energy of that up climb, because you're moving through an up climb right now in your life, you're reaching a new level, a new height. Things are gonna feel a little bit different here, but you've got this. Know that you've got this. Whatever it is that you're doing in your life right now, Aries, you are gonna do really well. You're very resourceful. Spirit is wanting you to really think about things, uh, look for solutions. Any kind of problems you're having here, you have the solution. So they're wanting you to put your thinking cap on um, and think and ask, ask people for advice. Um, I feel sometimes when we ask for advice, we might get something that we might not be, that might not be in alignment with us and that's okay. Um, I'm getting a donkey coming in. I don't know why I'm getting a donkey, but I'm getting Donkey Kong. I don't know if any of you used to play that video game or even anything to do with Donkey Kong, or this could be like one of those rubble, rub, rubber Kongs that a dog has. You put like peanut butter in it, something to do with one of those rubbery things, but I'm getting Donkey Kong coming up. So that's really interesting. So we have an up level happening. Some of you are facing some challenges which are showing up through the five of wands, but you are growing. Those of you that have manifested more success, more income, um, you're wanting your, yourself in a better position just in life in general, maybe even a relationship. If you're putting your work and effort into that, your energy, um, you're gonna see this come in uh, in a big, big, like it's, there's this full circle energy. So if you take a look, this uh, person is holding two pentacles and I feel they're juggling it. We've got the sun in the background. So we've got an activation happening here through the sun's energy. This is amplifying things for you. So just reaching your goals, the things that you're doing in your day-to-day -day life, your tasks, your responsibilities, you know, whatever it is that you're working on, you're gonna see that uh, success follows very quickly behind that. So this is the energy of the triple eight portal, the lion's gate portal, right? Is the energy that you're already putting out there. Spirit is asking just a little bit more above that because this is where we're going to see the results of the triple eight portal. It's the power that we're putting out there, the energy, right? Um, some of you might be feeling a little bit more confident, more creative. So you're kind of doing things. I'm just seeing a lot of you juggling many different things. I think some of you are 
working your nine to five job. You also have some side gigs. This doesn't have to be work necessarily. This could be just you um, doing something on the side that has to do with your passions, your dreams, right? Some of you might be hitting the gym after work, um, doing some meditations, hanging out with friends, maybe working on a side hustle, whatever this is. I'm seeing you putting a lot of energy out there. They want you to put focused energy into something here because when we are stretched too thin, when we're, we've got our fingers in the pot with too many things, then we, um, we can feel the weight of that and it slows us down. So sometimes we have to put a few things down and allow ourselves to move a little bit easier. And that focus on that one specific thing here, whatever it is that you're, you're working on, because I'm getting a big decision um, some of you are making this month around something. I'm getting a split on your path and I feel you're trying to balance something out and you're going to balance whatever it is out through making a decision and you're being intuitively given the answer around whatever that is. Okay, so making a decision around something and that decision is actually going to align things. Now, I feel some of you love to work with people. You love interacting and networking. Now, the thing is, what I'm getting here is somebody that likes to work alone. Even though you enjoy other people's company, I feel you are somebody that is a solopreneur uh, working on something by yourself. And anytime you need help, you ask for it. You're not afraid to, but you're more of an observer. You pick up on patterns. And this is one of the gifts I feel that you have since you were a young child. You're able to pick up on patterns, um, subtleties in the way that people speak, like through their communication, through their body language even. So I feel this works for you really well. But because of this, I feel sometimes this hinders us because there's almost like the suspicion around people all the time. So this is where spirit wants you to release that energy of suspicion. Have your healthy boundaries up though, right? Listen to your intuition, but allow yourself to give enough time to get to know the person. Don't judge a book by its cover is what spirit is saying. I'm seeing somebody incoming with an opportunity for you. Okay, so some of you may have somebody coming in with information or even just an opportunity to do something different, an opportunity, uh, a financial opportunity for you. Uh, I'm getting some sort of an experience coming through with whoever this person is. And this is a part of your elevation here. The other thing is some of you are able to see a little bit more than normal, like there's much more clarity coming in, right? That's the hangman card through the upside down world, right? So what I'm getting here is just things that are creating chaos in your world here with the five of wands. This is Mercury retrograde. This is where your computer, something starts happening with your computer. And you're like, are you kidding me? Or it, you've experienced a blue screen of death. I don't know if any of you have seen the blue screen of death. It's just your whole computer goes blue. So they're so showing me something going blue. Uh, it has to do with computers, like something to do with a software program or I don't know, some sort of a glitch coming in for some of you. I don't know if you're experiencing this, but also little tidbits of things like losing your keys, uh, maybe tripping over a step, um, you know, dropping a, a glass of water, like little, little things like this. I feel some of you might be experiencing this. It almost feels like you've, uh, you know, hit this patch of energy where it's called clumsy right? It's like a clumsy energy. I felt this in my life before. I'm knocking things down and things are falling. I'm losing. And it's just like a week of that, right? So I feel some of you are feeling this energy. It just feels a little bit chaotic. But ultimately what's going on here is there's an expansion of your consciousness. This is where that elevation in your spiritual growth is happening, Aries. It's through this... Um, I'm getting a bunch of leaves that are being parted away. So whatever cloudness, whatever fogginess was in your life, uncertainty or not knowing information or something, this is now being um, cleared for you. The path is being cleared through this hangman card. There's some understanding and knowing coming in and I feel this is naturally organically happening for you because maybe you're looking into some information. Spirit is wanting you to do your own research, to look, at, look into things yourself and not take things for face value here. I feel not everything is as it seems. Not everything is exactly how it's, how it's meant to be shown. Like we have, this is, I'm talking about um, those of you that are watching a lot of things online, if you're watching things on TikTok, YouTube, um, seeing things like, especially with the news and stuff, I feel that, that we are a part of an algorithm. So when we look and search things, we're 
were fed that information and more of it confirming our beliefs, confirming whatever it is that we're thinking, right? And I feel this is the energy in the world as well, is the energy that we put out there, the universe is like an algorithm that's gonna cater to us what it is that we're thinking about. So there is this shift or change that is coming in for you through the hangman card that is allowing you to uncover or pull away the curtain, you know, lift that veil off some of the illusions. So, and I, I'm getting a, an awakening happening through this card as well. So a lot of different things. This is so interesting because I'm getting a nervous and anxiety energy coming through me right now. Like I'm just tapped into someone who might be nervous. I'm getting shakiness, a little bit of coldness. Um, so uh, mostly nervousness. So I feel this has to do with anxiety. I'm not a doctor. I'm not going to give any medical advice here. Everyone, if you're feeling some sort of physical ailment, you're not feeling well, go see your family doctor. Go see a doctor, a medical professional. Um, but what I'm getting here is, I don't know what this is that you're tapping into. I feel some of you have unlocked um, a gift where you're able to see, you're able to gain foresight, but understand things. I don't know if you've watched something recently, Aries, or you've had a discussion where it's unlocked this new understanding within you. So now the world is starting to look different. Things that didn't make sense to you before are now starting to make sense or you know, something from the past, something that's happened, even now, whatever you're going through, you're looking at it through a different lens because of something that came in. So this is opening you up and unlocking a gateway, a portal for you to live in this new energy, which is the upgrade. This is you reaching higher, right? So it's a new experience and co experience coming into your life and this new energy, it's an opportunity for you to really see what it is that you can do here. You're unlocking a new level in your life. And uh, oh my goodness, this is going to be a really amazing experience for you. And whatever challenges you're facing, remember, they too shall pass. Keep your cool here, everyone, and know that you're moving to a much better place. There's so much expansion coming in, a lot of success that you're going to see through the energy that you put out there. So they're wanting you to keep yourself grounded at this time. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull a bonus card from the Spirit Animals Oracle deck. I'm going to read you the interpretation from the guidebook. So anything more that Spirit wants to share with you is going to come through this card. All right, so we are getting for you, Aries. Wolf Spirit, look at this. Some of you may be seeing a wolf somewhere in your life, maybe a wolf tattoo. Someone might have a wolf tattoo out there. Perhaps you're seeing wolf on a car or somewhere out there, even on the internet here, everyone. Turn knowledge into wisdom. Turn knowledge into wisdom. That's the hangman card. There's a lot that is being released at this time as well through the knowledge that is coming in. So the number 67, this could be a number that some of you may be seeing around you. This is coming in as a confirmation. So those of you looking for timing, 67 days and 67 hours around the message of this card. And per perhaps some of you, um, wolf is your spirit animal. So 67, let's find this, uh, this page here for you. All right, so Wolf Spirit leads you deep into the enchanted forest that holds the secrets to your life. Can you sense her beckoning you to follow, asking you to take all you have learned and all you are learning and make it yours? Can you integrate it all into your body, mind, and spirit? Whatever lessons you learned along the way, do not leave them unexamined. Be loyal to your dreams, to your soul, and to turning knowledge into wisdom and experience into magic. You are the one you've been waiting for, Aries. So be still and know that the sound of your heart beats in harmony with the whole world. The appearance of wolf spirit is an auspicious omen that says you are truly in alignment with your destiny. So look at that. Protection message for you today is what is unknown is still yet to be discovered. When wolf spirit appears, you are being told not to pretend you know something when you don't. You won't impress anyone with a little bit of knowledge. In fact, you rob yourself of a true experience and education if you tell someone or yourself you are done learning or you don't have or you don't have to know something. Be open, be humble, be teachable, and the world will open itself up for you like magic. Not now is the time to look into the world with reverence and awe and insatiable curiosity.
You will never grow old if you are willing to keep learning. Wolf Spirit is waiting to be your mystical, loving guide. So look at this. There's a lot of knowledge, information coming in that you're meant to actually apply in your life. Turn it into magic. This is what is happening for you right now, Aries. All right, let's pull a angel number for you as well to close off this reading. So some of you are seeing angel numbers or even repeating numbers in your life. This is going to give you your confirmation and guidance. So we are getting for you, my friends, 9999. How many of you are seeing this number in the sequence? This is your confirmation. So lessons learned. So the message here is take stock of your accomplishments and how you arrived at them. This is a reminder to maintain optimism and drive towards your goals. Maintain your momentum and know that the powers of heaven have your back. You made it and the reward goes to you. And we've got some uh, keywords here, culmination, okay? Results, you're going to see results here, everyone. Things are happening for your benefit. And uh, reflection, they're wanting you to reflect here. Some of you are going to experience some reflection being... Um, thrown at you, I feel like. This is really interesting, thrown at you. And completion, that's the number nine, right? So look at that. All right, everyone, before I forget, I just wanted to mention that August is the perfect month to manifest to set intentions, light candles. So we have some more magic intention candles back in stock. If you're interested in purchasing these, the link is in the description box below. These are made by my beautiful sister-in-law, Katomi. She makes these from home. And uh, you might not get these by August the 8th, but the 17th of August and the 26th are also days that add up to the single digit eight. So you can light these candles on those dates. So if you're interested, we still have some more available. The link is in the description box below. If you're seeing these numbers, this is your confirmation and this is your reading today. So I hope it resonated for you. If it did, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.